Hey everyone, I'm Ian McCarthy of Lifting for Life, and today I'm bringing you the 16th installment of the Lifting for Life Q&A series. This episode is going to be particularly good because 16 is my favorite number, and that will somehow inexplicably influence the quality of this video. So today's question comes from someone on Instagram who has a name, and their name is Alexander Wise. He asks, if one has only four days to work out in a given week, but those days are back to back, what split would you recommend? So traditionally, I think a lot of body, body, body builders would respond to this by suggesting a four day bro or body part split, which would probably consist of legs, chest and shoulders, back and arms. That is certainly one way to go, and I think you can make progress, and even good progress, doing that. The issue I have with that approach is I think that even if your volume is equated, even if the total amount of work you do is the same as someone who's doing higher frequency, you will make inferior gains, all else being equal. And I think the relevant scientific evidence indicates this. Indeed, I will link below a meta-analysis that Brad Schoenfeld I imagine other folks were involved as well, I don't recall, uh, published relatively recently where they looked at about 10 studies which were volume equated frequency studies comparing lower frequencies and higher frequencies. And in my opinion, that quite clearly demonstrated that again, with all else being equal, um, two times a week frequency or more is superior to one day a week frequency in terms of generating hypertrophy. So I recognize that there are other considerations or other variables which we should consider, like what it is you actually want to do. If someone says, I just want to do a bro split, that's what makes me happy, I want to be happy, that would be a really good reason to have them do a bro split. But if what someone wants fundamentally is to make the best gains they can possibly make, I think very early in the discussion we need to exclude bro splits for that reason. So I think we're left with two clear options, and I'm sure there are others, but these are the options which occur to me immediately. The first is traditional, traditional in the sense that it's very common in the evidence-based community, um, upper lower, where you would simply, and I typically say, or program lower upper because I think I have a slight bias toward lower body training. In that case, you would do, you would train your lower body first day, then your upper body, then your lower body, then your upper body again. An advantage of that, first of all, you get the higher frequency. I think realistically with the higher frequency, you're able to perform more volume in addition than the person who does the bro split. Um, and I think you're able to keep those workouts fairly modest and that would likely be really manageable in terms of recovery, even doing four consecutive workouts. I say that recognizing it's going to be very subjective. Some people it's like no issue at all and some people might have some issues Lower back being a good example of something where you would want to be careful uh, to ensure that you would be able to recover from one session to the next. But I think that would be a really solid, moderate approach. Now, another approach which could work really well would be four consecutive full body workouts. And I know a lot of people are going to go, what? How are you going to recover from that? Well, again, it is highly individual, and I think there are folks who would probably really struggle with this approach and ultimately would be better off doing a lower upper, lower upper. Um, but I also think that to a large extent you're able to adapt to that higher frequency and with frequency that high, you have to account for things like time in addition. But if someone has say an hour and a half or two hours a day and they're able to do four consecutive full body workouts, they have four times a week frequency. So they're doubling their frequency Anecdotally, higher frequency like that is even better than two times a week frequency. Additionally, I think realistically they're going to be able to maintain the highest level or um, the highest level of volume. Yes, I think that's grammatically correct. They will be able to do more volume in those four days for each muscle than the person who does the lower upper. But yes, you do need to be more cognizant of recovery and you need to be more cognizant of whether or not you're able to handle that in terms of the workouts are likely going to be longer, harder to get through, and you have to ask, 
you know, are you willing to do that? Is that something you'll enjoy? Do you have the discipline to be able to commit to that, etc.? We are at time, and I'm realizing that I could go on, uh, I could discuss this at much greater length, which I imagine I will do in future videos. Indeed, what I might even do in the future is, for those of you who have been asking, a really long video talking about frequency and my views on it at the moment. But I hope this re response was at least adequate for that particular question. And if folks have questions about what I've said here, ask below. I can elaborate in future videos. Thank you so much. Sorry about the additional 40 seconds. It happens. Peace out, bye. Like, comment, share, subscribe, email to your friends, and uh, tell them about it on MySpace. Peace out.